Alright guys, today's video is going to be all about swim jigs, but first of all I'd like to compare it to some other springtime baits and kind of give you an idea of when I like to throw which bait. So we've got a spinner bait here, a chatter bait, and then these three are swim jigs. So we'll start off with the spinner bait. I like to throw it throughout the spring. It's really good. It doesn't have a lot of weaknesses, but one of the weaknesses is fishing it in grass or near grass. Uh, that grass gets tangled up in the blade, so that's one weakness of throwing a spinner bait. Now for a chatterbait, I like to swap over to a chatterbait if the water gets colored, stained, or if the fish are hard to attract. You know, if you need some extra vibration to get them to notice that bait, that's a perfect time to swap over to a chatterbait. But both of these baits have what I call maintenance. You know, you have to tune them sometimes. Um, they're a little bit harder to throw because of the blades and harder to work through grass. And in those situations where I'm targeting springtime spawning fish, I'm going to swap over to a swim jig. There's, I mean, it's just like a jig, but the heads on them are built to, to go through objects like grass and basically to swim and look like a swimming bait fish. So these are my favorite swim jigs, and I'll kind of give you an idea on the color patterns I like to use. This video today was using a spot killer swim jig with a boot tail trailer, and I also used spike it garlic to dye the tail. I like that chartreuse and white combination. It's really good in the springtime. Now, later on in the spawn, I always like to swap over to bluegill patterns, and so I'll move to something a little bit more like this. Even in post-spawn, once those fish start, um, you know, fighting off the bluegills around their nest, I'll move over to that color. And then just a good overall year-round color. Everybody knows black and blue is good, especially in the summertime when you're targeting that wood. That's really good. And then if it gets back to fall, I'll swap back to a shad pattern. There's a lot of different shad patterns that really work well. But these are some of my recommendations on kind of how to approach the spring and what kind of lures you want to use and what color combinations. Now you can get some more information about all these items by the links that I've put down in the description and it'll also show you the rod and reel setups that I like to use for these springtime baits. And I hope this helps out and good luck catching fish guys.
Man, guys, that is a giant bass. Got it on that swim jig out here first thing in the spring. You can't beat that. It's a nice fish. I'm going to let her go. Enjoyed it.